overall it's it's nice the handlebar sucks the stem length i was thinking maybe it's too long you need or for my body height i need to shorten it put a four centimeter long on it proper riser bars uh, maybe to do to have more security or more stable handling you need to maybe cut it back because i don't need this height there is one two two more height position it's actually in the lowest so i need to bore a hole and make it even t deeper so this this can be let down at least 10 centimeters more and that's probably even better for the stabilization for the handling uh dual motor mode it's a it's an interesting stuff i don't i don't understand so with 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 back motor it doesn't do shit which is which is stupid while when you turn it on the front motor it's a lot more powerful and it's not like 50 50 i don't know how but I, it feels like the front motor is a lot stronger it can be that that's just a feeling but with the back motor it should move and it's not and uh, off-road you you can't have all wheel driving it's just stupid and especially not like this uh, setup where the front wheel is over spinning all the time the front or the dual motor needs to help but not overpower the back motor and the wheel is spinning and it doesn't help anything so if that's a setup issue or maybe there could be another software for that i don't know but if you want to cruise put it on the highest mode put it on turbo and put it on on back motor if it's more strain on the motor nobody cares it should hold up for the two hours which you are enjoying outside on the on the hardcore off off-road stuff otherwise it doesn't matter what you do with it, it, it can handle everything this was a lot higher i let it down to get a bit more height obviously that position your body weight a bit more back but you can compensate it to lean more but i would i would prefer i would prefer one wheel drive at the back this power this much power on one wheel and i will try to balance it and because now it's uncontrollable and it's stupid to ride so anybody who, who had ridden a proper motorcycle before knows that this one doesn't work. It's a nice gimmick, but on off-road it doesn't work. But we will make it work. And the creaking noises are effing annoying. Really annoying. That's it.